guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account on the test server, guys. Again, this is the test server, and we're going to be looking at the brand new King's Tower. As you can see, a very, very cool intro. So you can see which towers are closed, which towers are open. And then, of course, right in the top left, we have the Celestial Tower. And if you look, focus right here, kind of in the bottom. You can see that the Hypogen Tower, I believe, is right there. you got the very, very corner of it. So I believe that is coming very soon. Not sure if there's going to be a Dimensional Tower or not, but it definitely looks like the Hypogen Tower is right here, covered in the clouds. It's already here, but they haven't unveiled it. So let's take a look at the Celestial Sanctum. So looking at the, the rules here, you may only use Celestial Heroes. We thought it might be a combination of all three, guys, but it is Celestials. My Celestial team on the free-to-play account test server absolutely sucks, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and give it a try. If you are having difficulty completing a stage, you can rearrange your hero formation or check the replays of other players to gauge their minimum combat rating. So rumor also, also has it that you can go 20 floors in here a day, which I don't know. Let's see, we just got, it looks like a little bit of gold right there. We can only see a couple floors. I am hoping that it is going to give us Stargazer cards early. And these are the heroes that I have. And this is the only heroes that I have, guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and roll with this. I geared them up, I got artifacts on them. This is all we got. Th this is all we got, again, on the test server. Um, this is all that we can run with. So we got, and I think this is going to be a lot of the normal players, but we got Taylene, we got Wukong, which we've got a lot of copies of Wukong for free. We've also picked up a ton of copies of Flora, as you can see there at Mythic. Again, she was completely free. We don't put any money into this count. It's completely free to play. These are just the heroes that I picked up by Habitstance, along with Zafriel. Zafriel, again, was the free one when Zafriel and Lucretia were um, when they were introduced into AFK Arena. So, so far, not too bad. Let's just check out the damage real quick. Zafriel, look at that, at Elite Plus, putting up 2 million damage, guys. And it's really good to see that it, it it's not going to be super hard when you first get in here. That's what a lot of players were worried about. Um, you know, having limited Celestial Heroes. And there we go, guys. Floor 5 gave us Stargazer cards. That is right, guys. Floor 5 gave us Stargazer cards. Normal Faction Tower, you have to hit 125, but we picked up more Stargazer cards at Floor 5. And as many of you know, the Stargazer, the, the cost, the sheer value of Stargazer cards is very, very high. Um, they're a limited quantity. A lot of times, the only place you get them is either Events or the Voyage of Wonders. So very cool to see them in here. Cannot wait until we got that Hypogen Tower up. It, it'll be super, super awesome to, to see, to have an opportunity to possibly pull a couple more Celestial or Hypogen heroes. Any additional chances, any additional pulls that you can do in here, absolutely phenomenal. And you can see even my kind of cheese team in here is doing pretty well. Zephyro pops over there for the stun, the most densely populated heroes, which he's awesome in PvP. There we go, guys, 15 of our amplifying emblems. And there we go, so floor 11. So we can go more than 10 floors every single time, guys. Remember, all four of the faction, the, the factions, um, faction towers are limited to 10 floors per day on the rotation. So this one, this is what a lot of players were saying, is you can do 20 floors in here every single time it is open. Meaning you're gonna hit a point where Either you don't have the heroes or you're going to cap out essentially with the heroes you have, but you can also get better heroes, more expensive heroes, especially if you guys are free to play. Even on my free to play account, um, I have a couple Ascended Hypogens. I know a lot of players do. Javid has some really, really solid heroes. A lot of the free to play players, if you've been playing long enough, have a lot of these heroes built. Especially if you're an older player, you have Athalia built. Athalia is super strong, guys, and there they are again. So it looks like Floor 15, Floor 5, and Floor 15 gave us Stargazer cards. 
which is again is very cool just because they are so rare we might run an entire voyage and only see 10 stargazer cards if any stargazer cards honestly most of the time we don't get stargazer cards they give us a lot more emblems so this tower is going to be super beneficial to run through here and i want to see if 20 is the cap if it's going to tell us um 20 as far as we can go right now we do have signature items on the twins which i always always recommend building first guys build the twins first their utility is unmatched by any hero in afk arena with the haste buff that they bring followed by um lucretia which i know she's a hypogen but lucretia guys super super strong as well she is the one we are building right now on the free to play account absolutely recommend to build her and as you can see some of the more unique heroes in here guys we're seeing peggy in here already we're seeing rigby in here um, we won that one, and look at that. We didn't get red chest, guys, but as you're building your Celestial Heroes, most of them do go to a plus 20 or plus 30 signature item. This is going to be awesome. First, 10 floors gave us Amplifying Emblems. Emblems of Divinity for hitting floor 20, which is going to make it much, much easier when you're creating, when you're building these Celestials and Hypogens. There we go, guys. You may proceed 20 floors per day. So with those emblems, though, because they are specific, so we do have specific emblems when it comes to the Celestials and the Hypogens. Right here are the Celestial ones and then the Hypogen ones. I'm not sure we have any of them, but they are right here. So the Emblems of Destruction or the Emblems of Divinity. So they can only be used on Celestial Heroes to take them above that plus 20 signature item. So right there, the twins are at 20, Flora's at 20. I can actually take Flora with the 10 emblems we just got to 21, which, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We took her to 21, so those are specific, again, to just the Celestial Heroes here. We could use our red chest, but I don't wanna build up Flora that much. But because those emblems are faction specific, it's very, well, you can only use them on Celestials, so it makes it very cool because it is going to further your progression when it comes to building out the tower. Again, those are the, the, the ragtag bunch of heroes that I had. Only have the Legendary Plus Taylin right here. Have another copy there, maybe Mythic soon. Um, and then we do have Wukong. But like I was saying earlier, we're building Lucretia right now. We'll go ahead, we'll drop our Stargazer cards in here. See if we can get lucky with a copy of her. First one gives us a Wilder card. Second poll gives us a cup doubles, guys. Double copies of Lucretia. That is what we want to see from the Stargazer cards. So going through that Celestial Tower, if I got those 10 Stargazer cards, boom, that is what you could pull, guys. Double copies of Lucretia right there. What a awesome, absolute amazing pull, guys. So that gives us a double copy right off the bat. That is why I love the Stargazer. A lot of people call it a scam gazer, but guys, that's from Legendary to Legendary Plus with a double pull right there in that tower with the cards that we got. We got 10 from the Voyage. We got 10 from the Sanctum. Double pulled a copy of Lucretia. All right, guys, so that'll do it for the new King's Tower. Absolutely loving how they redid this. Again, Celestial Sanctum is up. Wouldn't be surprised if the next patch we see the um, Hypogen Tower come up which again, between these two and your three faction towers, they are going to be absolutely stacked with Stargazer cards, guys. So get ready to make progression in there and complete them as much as you can to pick up those Stargazer cards. All right, guys, so that will do it for the Celestial Sanctum. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.